Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about a simple example of Redux. How Redux works. So there is no React. We are just using React component to simulate this. But there is no integration we have done with React component. If you can see I have some component. Simple counter which is nothing but a counter component. And one reducer I have. This reducer is doing nothing but a pure function doing increment and decrement of my state. So from my index.js, now we already know once you get the store object by calling create store method, you can dispatch action, you can get state, you can subscribe, all these things are there in Redux itself. Okay, we are using this React component just to simulate the things like we have a counter component which has value which is current state so always this value will represent the current state of redux and in the on increment and decrement we are actually calling store dispatch and calling increment and decrement method so you can see how we created a store by passing a counter function right so it's a three step process first of all we created a counter function then step two sorry step two is create a store And step 3 start getting the state so here we have a step 3 where we started getting the state and dispatching the actions on the store store dot dispatch store dot subscribe store dot get state okay now this counter component is nothing but a simple UI where we are showing what is the counter value which we are getting from the Redux state and we are just calling increment and decrement methods okay this is going to the parent component increment and decrement we are doing this dot props dot increment this dot props dot on increment right this is coming back here in our index.js and we are calling store dot dispatch so if you see how it is working we are just keep increasing this increase if odd right so this method is just doing that if it is odd number then it is increasing at this is asynchronous it is just nothing but a timeout after a particular timeout, we are actually calling props dot uh, increment. If you see this set timeout, we wrapped it around asynchronous functions. So after one second, it is calling this, and once it is triggered, we are dispatching this action after one second, and state is getting updated. So plain and simple. If we just talk only about Redux, Redux is all about creating store. Then from the store you can dispatch action you can get state you can subscribe to it and store is nothing but a combination of all the reducers or a single reducer here we have created a single reducer there can be multiple functions so these are pure functions what you need to do you need to use a combined reducer method you will get a root reducer root reducer then you can pass here to create your store so your store can have a single reducers multiple reducers anything right but if you have a single reducer then store will have just a count value okay if you have multiple reducers then there will be a state json object tree which your store will be having so when you do a store.get state you will actually get the whole json object which is there in the redux store from that then you can decide okay i need this particular node value like if you have a state object something like this which has a big tree in a state object you have a lot of things you have a count in the count reducer is giving you the count value right there can be a profile from coming from profile reducer right there can be a data so you can decide which data you wanted to access when you are doing get state currently there is a single reducer you have you are getting only count okay we are not using any combined reducer to combine multiple reducers together okay this is a very basic example just to understand only about redux now we are we know enough about redux redux is having a single state tree in the redux store redux has the reducers which are maintaining the pure state of your redux i mean state is read only every time whenever you are sending action we are returning new state so redux internally managing this state tree initial state next state next state next state so at the time of debugging we can debug what was the initial state what is the current state what is the future state going to be when this action is getting triggered and these these reducers are pure functions because 
whenever you are sending this increment and you know the current state based on these two arguments i will always tell you what is next state going to be it is a predictable state container means i can predict what my next state is going to be based on the action and current state and with the same input i am going to get the same output every time so this is a pure function which is giving me the new state every time i got the actions actions are nothing but a javascript object like this which have a type as a mandatory three things redux is clear now in coming videos we are going to use react redux as a bridge library between redux library and react it will help us to talk to redux from react react will actually trigger the action to the redux or react will read the current state from the redux store okay let's see that in the coming video thanks everyone